This is Brotherton's Black Iron Eats. And they may be the new kid on the butcher block, but they're already smoking the competition. Here's pit boss John Brotherton. Is this, this line's normal now for yeah, you, it isn't is it? it is normal, yeah. We get pretty crazy in here at lunchtime, for sure. Phenomenal. Yeah. I don't know if you can break away or not, but I'd Absolutely. love to sort of see what you guys do. Yeah, let's do it, man. I'll take you out to the pit. Perfect right, place to start. Let's do it. Oh, it smells good in here. Well, this Absolutely. isn't exactly convenient to like step out the back door and check no, on the pits. No, it's not. We're uh, out here at the end of the parking lot. So. Hey, man, it doesn't matter um, where you are. It's yeah. what's on the plate, though, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, pretty much everything's come off. We still got some uh, some briskets that are still on here finishing up. This doesn't look like a traditional pit. It's still indirect heat, right? It is, absolutely. One so, firebox down there? Yeah. Everything that we cook with is uh, Central Texas post oak. I know that uh, you know this is the traditional barbecue world, but you're far from traditional in the kitchen. Yeah, right? we are far from traditional. We do a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff. Let's go look. A lot of Let's different stuff. Yeah, absolutely. If you come here for a three meat plate, you won't leave disappointed. But John and his co-owner, Chef Marvin Briley, have taken Texas Q to the next level. How about Texas brisket on a Philly cheese steak, smothered in queso on an authentic roll shipped in straight from Philadelphia? Or maybe a brisket banh mi, a Vietnamese sandwich with house-made kimchi, pickled daikon, and a mango serrano sauce. Or if those don't tickle your fancy, Maybe Brotherton's soon to be iconic brisket pastrami Reuben. Start off with a pastrami, which we brine in house. And then it's got a uh, pepper, coriander uh, bark on it, or you know, the oh, rub, it's pepper and coriander. We've got a marble rye, Swiss cheese, and then we've got a sauerkraut that we ferment in house. So we start from, from raw cabbage, you know, salt it, Whoa. we put it in a fermenting pot. That's legit. House made Thousand Island dressing. That looks amazing. It's taken everything within me to not just go, in, go to town. Is that, that, is that for another customer? That's for you, Chet. What? Yeah. Can I, that, we're generous Don't like tease. That, man. Don't yeah. tease me like that. Have at it. Mm. Holy That's not smoke. bad. That. Not bad? That is off the charts good. Thank you. Man, because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> How's that? Oh my gosh. Is that not insane? That's ridiculous. That's brilliant, man. I don't know if I'm just starvingly hungry or if this is, in fact, the best sandwich I've ever eaten because it might be, might be, might be both it, of those things. It could be a combination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. That's good. <laughs> you know, the only way to know for sure is to eat the others. As John and I sit down for a chat and a couple sandwiches. Look at that. Fabon me. Fa we couldn't find a spot for the PF in that one, so we left <laughs> it alone. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! I love it. The, and the, the different pickling flavors coming from the kimchi, new element for yeah. it. Yeah, it's not traditional to have kimchi on a, on a banh mi or on a, a barbecue sandwich for that matter. Me. Well, so, I get the idea you don't yeah. do much traditional. We don't do traditional. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we first started this thing, you know, we were two separate businesses, uh, Black Iron Eats, which did sandwiches, and, and then I did barbecue, you know, out of my garage and doing pop-ups once a month. It just made sense for us to kind of come together. And, Wow. So I don't think any of this is where we thought it was going to be originally. The best journeys always have an element of surprise yeah, along the absolutely, way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right? I don't think it would have been this fun if we just were just slinging traditional barbecue. You oh, know? yeah. So, no way. It's phenomenal, man. Thank you, sir. Thanks, appreciate brother. that. Absolutely. Very much appreciate it. Thanks, brother. I mean, you get that all the time, I'm sure. But I do. And for then you, then like, brother, like, turn. Yeah, like, <laughs> he, gets that, he gets that joke a ton. I know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, that's even worse, Richie. That's worse. <laughs> To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com. Or here's some other videos you may like. Via con Dios, amigos.